Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a good ass day. Hope it's hope it's so good. I hope you're having a blessed day as well. And uh, today we're gonna be doing kind of a different style of video than I usually do, at least. Today I'm gonna kind of be reviewing um, how I personally make beats in FL Studio and like basically how I learned how to make beats in FL Studio. So I'm gonna basically run you through like my whole process of like how I create beats. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna make a beat from scratch together from start to finish. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to basically do everything, everything that I do. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. But you thought you were gonna get away with it this time. You thought, you thought. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. It's okay, it's okay, you thought, but no, no. Make sure you go hit the like button, make sure you uh, hit the hit the hit the comment button, but make sure you leave somewhere else. It's not gonna work like type some in type some in just like Leave a comment uh, leave a comment uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, now let's get into the video All right, so now that we are in FL Studio, let's get into uh, making a beat here. So this is a project I was just working on. So we're just gonna start a new one here. So I have a little template that I use. So yeah, we're just gonna use that. So basically what I like to do before I start anything is uh, if I'm starting a brand new project, I like to just pull up the channel rack here and pretty much some of my go-to VSTs, Electra X, Nexus, Omnisphere, Purity, Serum, Silent, and Expand. I actually really like Expand. I've been using Expand a lot, and you can usually find it for like really cheap as well too. Uh, I got mine from uh, Plugin Boutique. They're definitely goaded. They have some really good sales on uh, VSTs there, so definitely check them out. I think I'm gonna use uh, one shots this time, so maybe we'll use my Atomic one shots. We'll see. If I definitely use this a good hot couple times but bug it for one shots uh, basically you just drag it in and uh, what I like to do for one shots is you come in you just uh, click your channel rack click where the actual uh, one shot is on your channel rack come into the envelope and just pull the attack hold and decay and sustain down just like that so it looks like that and uh, that's just your best bet it just makes it a lot cleaner and easier to use the sound so yeah uh, we'll just uh, right click and we'll go to piano roll once you're in the piano roll uh, pretty much as you can tell there's already um, a scale in here so how you can do that is you actually go here view and then you'll go to scale highlighting and I'm in a major scale right now and I'm in G sharp you can pick whatever you want this is my favorite major scale and then um, minor natural aeolian is a, another very popular minor scale uh, that's what a lot of producers use so I kind of bounce back and forth from minor and major but I also find it's really helpful to switch up the scale because I mean if you use one scale all the time it's gonna become harder to use it because it's just you're using the exact same one and I switched uh, to the major scale and I did and melodies are just popping out of nowhere so I don't know I, I for me personally it just helps to switch up the scale here and there so that's definitely something you can do and uh, pretty much when you add the scale you'll see it, it just adds all the all the little ghost notes there for you um, that's really one of my favorite um, parts about FL Studio it just makes it super easy and um, it's very user-friendly also if you want to change uh, how your piano roll and your uh, playlist looks. You can uh, just go here, view, grid color, and then you can choose whatever you want. And then if you wanna change the note colors, there's some default ones here, or you can go view, note colors, and then edit palette. And then also, um, some of you might be wondering how I did this with my piano. So if you go to view, 
uh, keyboard style, this is the dark style, and then if you want to have all the notes show up on your piano as well too, uh, you can just do all notes here. So um, when I start a uh, melody, I mean there's no r real like good way to do it honestly. Uh, for me I just kind of put notes in and then you know whatever sounds good I just kind of roll with kind of thing. So basically I'll just click in some notes so we'll do that right now. So I usually like to start in four. So I feel like um, anything below four starts to get a little bassy. It really depends on the sound, but for the most part, um, four is a us usually a pretty good place to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw some notes in, um, and I'm going to follow the scale that's highlighted here like we did before. And yeah, we'll just uh, start out with a uh, chord progression here. So what I like to do is I like to just put something in and then I kind of move the notes around until I get the like sound that I want. And that's just kind of, I don't know, you start to understand that more just from like making beats like over and over again. You just kind of understand what you're looking for kind of thing. So I'm just going to drag this out like this. So what I just did there is if you select a note uh, and you do alt up, nope. Yeah, alt up. Is it alt up? I don't know, dude. I this, this fucking keyboard. Uh, alt up, I believe it is. And yeah, it'll just uh, move the note up one scale. So it's just an easy way to move your notes around. <laughs> love when you find a chord like that, that sounds really fucking good. And maybe we'll add just like one last one like right here. Maybe we'll pull this up an octave to the five. Let's just see, let's copy that over and let's just see what that sounds like. but I want it to not, uh, I want it to end on the same note that it starts on, so I'm gonna find a different one. All right, so I'm rocking with that. I think that sounds pretty good. What I might do is I might just add a couple chops in this melody just to kind of give it a little more bounce and so it's not so uh, like kind of dry and plain. Either that or I might add a little uh, top line to it maybe. Um, let's just kind of see um, what we can do here. That sounds really fire, I like that. So yeah, pretty much once I have like my first melody, I move on to uh, the second part of the melody. So, hmm, I don't know, what should we go with? Maybe I'll go to Electra, maybe we'll pull up my bank. I personally like, I personally like uh, using the VST more than the one shots, but that's just me personally. But yeah, let's, let's just see, uh, let's copy this down just like that and let's just try one of these arps out here oh my god whoa that's 
sounds good as fuck, actually. Uh, just just a FYI, if you haven't already, make sure you go cop this bank, man. This bank is fire. I actually fuck with this bank heavy. I use it quite a bit. That's clean, actually. That sounds fucking clean. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. So we got two melodies down. So next, like, especially when I uh, layer it like this, my next thought is, okay, what can I do for, you know, a counter melody? So let's, um, let's duplicate this. So let's just find something here. I either wanna use a lead or maybe a bell. I'm not sure though, so. Yeah, we'll just we'll just play around. I really do love this lead. This lead is just fucking dummy. And it goes really well with these, so let's just see. Okay, so that sounds good. Um, it's very, very harsh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring everything into the mixer. How to do that is you select all by holding down, hold down alt and then just drag your mouse and then um, keep holding alt L. So we want this one, so it's very loud. It's very aggressive. So let's just turn it down. It's very harsh. So we're gonna hit a EQ with it. We're gonna take out the low end. And we're gonna take out some of the high end. Just like that. And then we're gonna pull up an effect on it. Probably do Shaper Box. We're gonna hit it with Fluid Flow. Let's see what's in here. Okay, that's not bad. Let's hear what it sounds like. actually holy i'm telling you i'm getting so lucky with <laughs> sound selection and picking presets right now it's actually nuts so yeah we're gonna use that for sure i kind of want to just like do maybe another instance of it actually let me just see what halftime sounds like on it as well <laughs> Keep it like that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the eq with a love filter okay that sounds good i like that so we're definitely gonna add more melodies to this but what i want to do first is i want to add some basic drums i always find that when i'm creating melodies um adding some drums to the melody um even though the beat obviously isn't done and just some basic drums helps me creatively kind of figure out you know what's missing within the pockets of the beats so i always like to do that it just helps me out a little bit i used to be like very strict with like how i make my beats but i kind of just like go into it and you know i just I don't know I just don't really think about the process a, a lot anymore I just kind of go in and you know whatever I need to do I just do instead of just like having it like step by step by step by step because I feel like when you do it that way it just like kind of it hinders your creativity a little bit so uh, for 808s um, basically I just copy my melody boom uh, that's uh, alt C and then Alt V and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, what I do is I just take out this boom and I just keep the uh, root notes. And uh, for anyone wondering how I do, how I get rid of notes, uh, Alt X, uh, Alt Z to undo to do multiple notes at a time. Hold Shift and then uh, you can select more than one. Huh? What the fuck? Before we add that, I forgot that we should probably get rid of the low end of all of these. So uh, let's let's 
just mute this 808 first. Uh, and let's get rid of the low end of these melodies quick. should work now. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we did to um, the uh, one shot that we had. Boom, boom, bing, bang, done. And then we're also gonna do cut self. Sounds good. Uh, now we'll add a hi hat. Uh, by the way, all the drums that I'm using are either going to be from my upcoming kit, the Tesla drum kit. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you can't even see it. Boom, 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 boom. Either that or it'll be from uh, one of the kits from our website. So definitely go check out our website. It's pretty fire, I won't lie. Okay, so we got the hi hat. I'm going to go to Chris's. Actually, oh, my boy 36 got some in his Dark Matter drum kit. So let's see what these sound like. Wait a second. Okay, this is either going to sound really good with a clap or it's going to sound really fucking bad. Ah, it's so close. It's not quite there though, man. Oh, it's so close. I'm just too lazy to fuck around with it. Oh, that's a drill one. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it sounded kind of fire though. I won't even, won't even lie. Uh, I'm gonna go to Mosh Pits. Bro, these are my go-to for real, for real. I swear I've used this one at least a million times. Straight up. <laughs> All right, so I feel like it can, it, it needs like one more element for the melody. So now that we got like the basic drums in there, I'm really digging the vibe of this so far. I think it's very fire. So let's just clone this and we're gonna make sure we throw it in uh, no uh, mixer channel or else it's gonna go to the same one with all these effects on it. Uh, so we don't want that, not yet at least. So let's find a sound. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, that's dope. Okay, let's just see what we can do with this uh, effects wise. I think that's the melody right there. So yeah, we're just gonna add some drums now. Just some, you know, whatever's fill fill it in, you know? And uh, yeah, that'll pretty much be the beat. So let's fucking, let's, let's just fucking go. <laughs> So to uh, move move your things around, all you have to do is uh, click this little click this little thing, and then it's Control Zap around, boom, 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 just like that. I personally have OCD, so like my shit has to like look the exact same every time, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you know that's. Uh, 
That's the name of the game, so yeah. Uh, L to me, I guess, man. I'm gonna throw everything together. Uh, we're gonna mix this up. Uh, I actually really like this beat, to be honest. It's, it's funny, I've been making some of my best beats in my tutorials, so. So when I'm mixing, uh, what I like to do is, I've said this in like a lot of my tutorials, but I always start from uh, the 808 and then make my way over because I want the 808 to be the most prominent thing in the beat. Um, so I always uh, mix from the 808 over and then once I have the drums done, so for me it would be up to the clap, uh, I mute everything again and then I mix the melody by itself and then I play everything together and then just kind of tweak it together. Um, but for the most part, it always sounds really good. All right, fire beat, man. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're going to rearrange it. I'll show you what I do for rearranging. Um, so what I do first is I click on our pattern here, uh, split by channel, and then uh, click the top one, shift, click the bottom, uh, boom. And then um, it is control B, so you just select it and then control B and then it'll just paste its ass over. Boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 boom. And I always go to 81 because uh, for the most part that's around two minutes and I always make my beats around two minutes. So uh, yeah, so what I like to do is I like to kind of tease the melody a little bit, play the main melody. I think we'll start with this. And then um, I don't want to add this part yet because I think this adds like a really like a lot of like ambience and like fills it in really well. So what we'll do is we'll add this counter melody here first and then uh, we're going to do the classic clap and hi-hat uh, intro here. Actually just drop in here and just say fuck it. Okay, and then since we're bringing in two more sounds here, what I'm gonna do, I like to do this a lot, is just pull it back um, four bars here. Uh, pull everything back so uh, control and then you can just move these around and that just allows the sounds to kind of come in and it doesn't sound like really weird I don't know how to explain it but it just kind of introduces sounds a little better okay so we'll let that go till 33 uh, so I generally like to let my um, the hooks go for about 16 bars I consider this more of an intro I guess okay maybe no okay we'll do the this as the hook and then what we'll do is we'll bring all this shit out here and then maybe we'll take out this and then this will kind of be a bridge <laughs> Yeah, okay, word, that sounds good. And then we'll do this. So once I get half of the beat done, 
Um, so I consider this half. So I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll do the bridge and then um, this for two bars, or uh, sorry, 16 bars. And then uh, basically I just copy it from there over. Boom, take out, uh, actually, you know what? We can do this instead, because we got room. Uh, so yeah, we'll basically just copy the whole beat over. And then, so 81's right here, take that out. And there's your arrangement, nice and easy. I don't use um, the fade out anymore, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. So if you wanna get the fade out in your uh, song, uh, go to your mixer, click your master, uh, right click it, and then go to create automation clip. So yeah, I cut it at eight bars, and then I uh, you just drag it down like this. So yeah, just uh, right click here, boom. Drag it down, and then that just fades it out. Uh, but yeah, that is gonna be the entire video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, I know this isn't the most like formal tutorial video ever, but I hope you learned something. <laughs> I hope you learned something. But yeah, if you did learn something, make sure you uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and uh, also hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you watched. Make sure you go cop. Uh, our kits as well too. Uh, like I said, I used, I literally used my uh, my Atomic Bank for this entire beat. So if you liked uh, how this beat turned out, definitely go cop that kit. Like I said, you can get the one shot or you can get the Electra X, uh, Electra X version. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out and make some fire beats. And we have a ton of free kits on there as well too. So definitely go check that out. But yeah, without further ado guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we will catch you in the next one. See ya later, alligator in a while, croc a fucking dial. Boom.